So we finished up the FAQ section. I'm thinking over here on this contact page is our last section that we have to do. Now, when I'm thinking about building a contact form, it doesn't really make sense for us to be specifying the form fields in our content source because this actually needs a form backend to actually be useful to anybody. So for now, I'm just going to hard code this form into our component. And later in the future, if we wanna put a backend behind it or something, we can make it a little more dynamic. Now, we might wanna make this section over here be content driven. I'm not sure, it really depends on your use case, but for now, we'll hard code this form in and then we can actually go and uh, finish our website. So let me just expand this here and I'm going to go to my inspector. Let me see this element here. So we have this whole section. It looks like this. I'm gonna copy this. Edit this is HTML. Copy the whole thing. Into my text editor, I'll come here and I'll add a new component. And we'll call this contact. Contact form dot svelte. And in this form, I'll paste the HTML in there. And save that. And then over here, we'll create a new content page. So I'm going to grab the FAQ. I'm gonna copy that. And I'll paste it in my pages again. And this time I'll rename it. Contact. And I'm at the top here, instead of frequently asked questions, I'll change this to contact us, I think is what we're using over here. Contact us is great. And then instead of an FAQ, we'll call this contact form to match the component we just created. So we have contact form. And now we could create this content. So this is where I'll leave this up to you, whether you wanna have any content field. So we could say, yeah, maybe we give it a, a title, description, and um, phone, email, and address. So let's come over here. We'll get rid of items. So we can get rid of this whole section. And then in fields, we'll just say title and we'll call this one desk, short for description, and we'll say phone email address, phone email, and address. So once you have that information, we can come and we can copy and paste this in there. So this is the title. This is the description. In the phone field, we can do something like this. We'll just put the phone number. We'll hard code the phone value. And we'll put our email. Let's just uh, use something like test at example.com. So it's obviously you need to change this. And we'll put the address in there like that. And we need a colon here, I forgot the colon. So that's why we're getting that error. And this should be okay now. So we can come here, I can save this. And now in our, back in our component here for the contact form, we're just going to wanna pull those values in and replace them. So up at the top here, we'll pull a script tag. We'll do an export, let, and then we have title, desk, uh, I think we call it phone, email address, phone, email, address. Okay, and once we have those values, we can come down here and we can actually put them in here. So we can say, this is the title. Now this here is the description. So D-E-S-C, then we have phone and the phone number goes here. So we'll say phone, email, 
put this in two places. We want the mail to link to work. So we'll say email goes here and then we want it to display as the link title. So we'll put it here as well. And then down here for the address, we'll do something like this address. And we'll save that. If we save that and come back here and reload our page. And now if we go to contact, we now have a contact us page. So it looks pretty close. I think we have to adjust the bullet style to make that work. But the title looks good. Our contact us page title is coming through. That's good. And the lorem ipsum looks good. Basically, we just need to adjust the style for this section. This form even looks good. It has the default values and everything there that we want. So that's that's all looking pretty good. So let's come here and let's just look at the style for these bullets here. So kind of expand this a little bit. So we have the UL, the LI, and I think this here is where we're going to start seeing some of the styles like usual. So we have this section here. So I can copy this and I can do something like this. Add a new style tag. And we'll paste that in here. And it looks like this is all a little bit bumped out. So we have a section here. Everything here needs to come in an indentation a little bit, just like That's saved. Let's come back over here and reload this page. So it looks like we're getting a little bullet there. We'll add this style as well. Okay, so that got rid of the default bullet style there. And we'll add this style here for the LI specifically. Save that. Reload this page. Okay, so now we got the style that we want. Although this looks a little bit different. So let's just grab this as well. And we'll add this style to this as well. Just to change the font weight. Let's come here and let's reload this. Not sure if that adjust anything. The line spacing looks a little different too. So there's margin bottom. So that's this right here. We can grab that and put that in here as well. So adds the margin bottom. It changes some of the line breaking behavior. And we'll come in here and reload this. Okay, that looks a little aggressive. Why don't we just do that to this specific section? alone. Maybe if we put that in the UL section, instead of having that everywhere. Let's try that. And take a look. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to improvise here. So we have this LI section here. Let's just add a margin bottom. And 20 seems like too much to me, but let's put like 15 here. Something like that. And maybe even 10. Let's do 10. 
And let's come down here to this last section. We're not going to use any of this. And we'll just save it and come back here and reload. Okay, that's looking better. So this has some style to it as well. This href. So let's copy this. Put this in here. And this is also going to have some hover behavior. So let's see what happens when we hover this. We just get the color change. So let's do that as well. And let's save it. Come back here. And reload this. Okay, so now we get this when we hover. Looks like that, although it's not happening quite as smooth as this is happening here, right? So let's see. Let's grab these styles here. So we're going to do a transition. We're going to make sure our cursor is a pointer, and we're going to do a text decoration of none. We don't want an underline in our style. So I'll save that, come back over, and reload this page. So that looks better. OK, great. I would say that covers the contact us component.